Okay, let's do our warm ups and some back work today. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones toward the floor, hips open with that core active, ribs toward your spine, and lengthen up. Bring your shoulders back and down, arms to your side. Take a moment, get that inner yoga focus, breathing in awareness, exhaling stress. And just take a moment, stretching, opening, and focusing. And then inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, keep your shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you, just gently fingertips together, pressing toward the floor. Stretch your head back in the way, spread your toes, lengthen through your whole spine, and then pivot at your hips, come on over. Hands up, head down. Bring your chin around in some circles, getting the neck releasing. Lift your sitting bones, stretch your legs. Spread your toes out, and then knees slightly bent, chin just a little bit tucked in, so your neck stretches, lengthen all the way up through the spine and into your back bend. So lift your heart, stretch your head back, drop the shoulders, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright, release your arms, take a moment feeling that circulation Maximize a little bit more. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Push the hands down just gently so your heart opens a little bit more, and then pivot on over. Exhale all the way down, just letting things release, emptying the lungs. Spread your toes, bend your knees, and again, just wind your way from the bottom of the spine all the way back up into the back bend. Shoulders down, stretch the spine. Keep breathing, feel your body. And inhale upright, releasing your arms. Feel the sides, getting ready to stretch them. So one arm out, <clears throat> palm toward the ceiling hand overhead, and lean to the side, no twist, so make sure you're not leaning forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, reach the fingertips and head away. Just feel the ribs stretch apart a little bit more. And then inhale back up, exhale that arm back down, and feel the difference, so let's balance it out. Arm out, palm up, and over your shoulder. Stretch it out and lean to the side. And again, maximize that, pushing the foot down and the fingertips out. Make sure you're not leaning forward so those ribs get the maximum stretch. And then inhale up again and release. Feel the sides a little bit more open and get ready to open your spine or arch wrist. Arms at shoulder level, <clears throat> palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, pull your arms next to your ears, reach out through the head and elbows, sitting bones down, spine stretching apart, and twist to one side. Take a breath, and keep the weight on both feet as you exhale over. <clears throat> Take a breath or two, lift your sitting bones, and don't forget to breathe. <clears throat> and then inhale your way up, lifting your heart. Shoulders down, chest up, elbows back. So take a moment in that upper body back bend only. Always feel gently with your low back knee twisting. And don't forget to keep breathing. Inhale upright. Exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And always balance things out for your body. Sitting bones down, stretch everything apart, and twist to the other side. Oh, oh my goodness, bad allergies. 
Lift your heart, stretch your elbows back, and then exhale a few little bit. Once again, just feel the twist forward bend as deeply as you'd like. Lift your sitting bones, relax your upper body. And keeping the weight on both feet still, work your way up in the twist into the upper body back bend. Shoulders down, stretch the elbows back, and don't forget to work. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, arms extended into extended now. So keep the shoulders, shoulder legs, sitting bones toward the floor, and the fingertips and head reaching up, stretch everything apart. And then swan dive, arms at shoulder level, pivot at your hips, come halfway down, stretch everything out, feel everything lengthen, and then drop in your legs, don't just hanging. Let your arms be where they want to go, or bring them behind your calves and pull in a little deeper. Just let your head go toward your legs, and your sitting bones toward the ceiling. And then release your hands, let your arms relax as you move all the way back into mountain pose. As you get back to standing, just take a moment, inventory everything. Feel your spine especially. And bring your hands onto your back. So our heel with the palm up at your shoulder blade area, fingertips down toward your hips. Pull your elbows toward each other. Feel the chest expand. Spread your toes out. Feet hip width apart. And then keep your hips over your ankles and push your head back. So come into that supported back bend as deeply as feels good for your back. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, tension. Lift your heart, but not your chin, and stretch your neck. Inhale, coming back up. Release your arms. Take a moment again, feeling a little more circulation, bringing your hands to your heart. Look at your hands, bringing them into your Extended position, pulling the thumbs behind you, looking at them, lifting your heart, and swan dive forward. Give it on over, dropping into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees, get that halfway up stretch, tuck in your chin a little bit, stretch the whole spine. And then bend your knees and come all the way to the floor. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up at your sides, and forehead down, coming into child pose. Take a breath there, just relax, pull your knees together, stretch that back a little bit more, if you like that. <clears throat> and then bring the hands out to the sides of the mat, slide forward, slide your feet back, drop your hips, and come all the way rolling down into resting crocodile. Head to one side, hands palms up near your hips, toes just relaxing down. Let the shoulders release. Take a couple breaths and on the exhalation, turn your head the other way. Just breathe and relax. Keep the feet hip width apart and then bring your forehead to the floor. We're going to go into our starting position, just a little mini cobra. So elbows in toward your side, hands next to your temples, and forehead starting on the floor. Inhale, turn your face forward, crown up toward the ceiling. Keep the ribs on the floor, tuck your chin back slightly, stretch your neck, and then push your chest forward and up. Let the spine do the work. And come into that upper body sphinx kind of Take a moment and breathe. And this is our starting position for our work on our lower back today. So remember, don't go too high if you have low back issues, because what we do with our feet next is going to maximize a little bit more of it. So go ahead, exhale back down. So it's getting a feel for our starting position. Keep your feet hip width apart, relax your hips down. Remember, 
We're just going to be gentle with the low back, personal practice, always. Do what's right for your body. If it's feeling like it's too much, then back off. Don't do so much. Always just do what's right for you. So go ahead, forehead on the floor. Hands next to your face. Just relax. Inhale, face forward, crown up. Chin tucking back toward your chest. Shoulder blades toward your waist. Just forward and up, coming into the upper body only as deeply as you'd like. Stretch out through the toes, focus on the right leg, and just lift the right foot off the floor, keeping the hip bones both down. So stretch out through that leg, stretching it back. Feel your low back, it's going to get a little more intense. Remember, don't go too far. Take a breath. And as you exhale, lower that foot. And then another breath. Exhale, upper body down. When your forehead touches again, just relax a little bit more. And get ready to not do the left one. So, again, coming into the upper body starting position. Face forward, crammed through the ceiling. Tuck your chin. Move your chest forward and heart up. Shoulders, shoulder blades, going toward your waist, relax it down. Only go as high as your spine supports, no pressure in those arms. Stretch the legs back, focus on the left foot, and bring it up off the floor just a little bit, stretching back through the toes, only as much as you need to do today. Take a breath, stretch it out, and lengthen your whole leg. And out through the chest and up through the crown. Take a few breaths there and exhale the foot down. Another breath and exhale the upper back. Again, just relax for a moment as you breathe, letting everything release any tension as you get ready to do both feet together. So remember, it gets more intense, so just be gentle. Inhale, face to the front, crown up, chin tucking back. Chest forward and up, coming into your upper body start. And then stretch the feet back, hip width apart, keep the hip bones down, keep the hip or pelvis on the floor as you raise your feet. And again, only go as high as it feels okay. If you want too far, just back off a little bit. And do only what makes your body feel okay. We're strengthening the low back with these, so don't go too far. Just make sure that you're doing what's appropriate for your body. Don't forget to breathe. And of course, keep that chest moving forward and the crown up in the next stretching and everything maximizing only to your maximum. And then exhale, bring the feet down. Another breath, and exhale, four and breath. Slide the hands back a little under your shoulders and push up and back into child pose. So let's take a moment there in your forward bend. Feel that low back getting a nice stretch by bringing the knees even closer together if you like it. And don't forget to keep those shoulders relaxing. Take a breath or two. Exhale any tension. And then bring your leg hands out in front and pivot it up onto your hands and knees just briefly. Reach the low back toward the ceiling from your table position. And then just let that low back drop down into the back bend just gently. Exhale, just relax it. And then again. Tuck the sitting bones down, the forehead toward the back floor, and lift that low back, just giving it a good stretch. And then inhale back to a neutral table position. Move your hands to the sides, again, pivoting your hips down, rolling your whole body into resting crocodile. Head to the side, hands on the side. Shoulders relaxing. Take a breath or two. And then exhale to the other side with your head. Just stretch that neck evenly as we work. 
So we're going to do the second set of our sequence. It's a little more intense, remember, so don't go there if that's not right for you. Forehead to the floor, hands next to your face, elbows into your sides. Just relax. And then inhale, face forward, clamp up, tuck the chin back, chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Upper body starting position, only as deeply as you want to go. Take a moment there, stretching it out and breathing. And we're going to bring the feet again, like we did before, slightly off the floor and stretch it back. So the feet are stretching one way, the chest is going the opposite way, and you're only maximizing in that low back work as much as your body is. And keep the feet down lower or the chest down further if that is necessary for your body. Remember, personal practice. Always do what's right for you. Take a breath, stretch it out, and then exhale the feet down. Another breath. Exhale the upper body. So that's going to be our basic starting position as we work this time. So once again, just relax, take a moment, stretch through that lower back, getting ready to, again, contract it in our back bend. Inhale, face to the front, crown up, chin tucking back, chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Coming into your starting upper body position. Check those feet hip width apart, <clears throat> stretch them back, and lift them slightly off the floor. Keep stretching it out. Go only as high as your body wants, maybe a little higher than last time if that works or not. And then we're going to go a little step further. So take a moment, focusing on what you're doing, and then if you want a little bit more, Move the feet out four to six inches to the sides. So it's a little more intense in that low back. Don't go there if that's not right for your body. Take a breath, stretch it out, lift the heart, lift the crown, and don't forget to breathe. Shoulders down, breathe. Exhale any tension. Feel your back doing the work, not your arms. And then again, bring the feet hip width apart if you've moved, and then lower the legs. Take another breath, exhale, upper body lift. Take a moment breathing, <clears throat> just relax. <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember, we're building strength in the low back, so don't overdo it. Make sure that you're letting the muscles do the work. <clears throat> so we're going to do another version. If you like that feet apart version, move your feet to the edges of the mat. If you like that hip with apart version, just stick where you are. So go ahead, put your feet in your starting position, either hip with apart or mat with apart. Forehead starts on the floor. Inhale, face forward, cram up, that shin. Shoulders, shoulder blades down, chest forward and up, coming into your upper body start. Stretch the toes back, and again, either hip width apart or mat width apart, lift your legs. The hip bones stay down, the pelvis doesn't do anything. The chest goes forward and up, the crown up, the feet are lifting through the base of the toes, stretching out through the base of the toes. Make, maximizing, lengthening through your whole body, breathing into it, doing what's right for your body only. Stretch it out, whichever position you're in, if you want to go a little further, two to four inches out towards the sides, if you like it. But remember, don't overdo. Low backs can be very delicate, so be gentle. Stay in the start position if that's where your body needs to be. Take a breath, stretch it out, lift the heart, drop the shoulders, breathe. And then bring the feet back to your starting position. Exhale the feet down, take a breath. Exhale, forehead to the floor. As you get down, and slide back, and push once more into child pose. Gently 
Just relax, let that full back stretch. Really feel the difference between this forward bend and the back bends. Again, you can bring the knees closer together for even more stretch through the low back. Remember, don't overdo it. Do what's right for your body. Take a breath. Just relax. And then inhaling, swing your hands forward, coming up into a kneeling position, raising your hands up toward the ceiling, looking up, lifting your heart, pull those hands back, and then exhale, sweep the hands down the floor, earth sweet. Take a moment and breathe as you come back into child pose, just relax, feel that stretch across the back again. And we'll do one more version. So bring your hands to the side, pivoting up, coming back into our resting crocodile, head to the side as we come onto our belly. Take a moment there, just relaxing, head turning to the opposite side, evening things out. And we're gonna go into our little sphinx starting position. So again, we're head on the floor, hands next to your face, and elbows in towards your side. Inhale, face forward, crown up, chest forward and up, chin down, and round toward the ceiling. Keep those shoulders and shoulder blades relaxing. We're coming just into a little space cobra. We're going to do a twist this time. So again, stretch the chest forward and up and the crown high. Only come as far into the Back bend as your body would like. Let the spine do the support. Stretch your bones apart because we're going to twist. So really lengthen out through the crown, sitting bones back. Keep the hips, legs lower on the floor. They do nothing this time. Then we're going to exhale and roll over toward one side. So as you turn, Make sure the hip you're moving away from goes down and the one you're moving toward goes slightly up so that your hips, ribs, and shoulder turn into your twist. Looking to the side, the whole body slightly turning just above the floor. Take a breath, stretch it out. And then exhale, bring the hip back down, turning your whole body back to the center. Take a breath and exhale all the way back. Go ahead to the floor. Relax. Take a moment to breathe. Make sure that you're not putting pressure in your arms as we're doing all this. And we're going to twist the course to the opposite side. So once again, forehead starts on the floor. Inhale, face forward, crown up. Tuck the chin, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Chest forward and up. Coming only as high into your back bend, Cobra Sphinx version as you want. And of course, stretch the spine apart so we can twist. And as you exhale, turn, lifting the hips slightly, dropping the other one, turning your ribs, turning your shoulders, turning your whole body toward the side. Only go as far as you want into the twist as you're in the back bend. Take a moment and breathe, that crown reaching up and down, and letting the twist happen. Exhale, release the hip down, turning your whole body back to the center. Keep stretching through that crown and chest. Exhale, forehead back to the neck. And again, slide the hands back once more under your shoulders, pushing back into child pose. Take a breath or two there, just relaxing. Forehead toward the floor. If you like this back bend for your back, for your relaxation today, you can stay in child pose. It's harder for me to talk, so I'm going to go into corpse position. So if you want to corpse position, just sit up on your heels, bringing your legs to the front and to the end of the mat into step position. Activate that core, let that whole back around as you roll all the way down to the mat. 
and come into corpse position. So whichever position you're in, just let your body relax down into that earth center. Relaxing completely. Shoulders coming down toward the floor, whichever position you're in. Just relax your whole body. Let that spine get a little more attention. Stretch it apart. Press out through that low back. And then as you exhale, just completely let it relax. Let the earth, whatever position you're in, just deepen into that first embrace, relaxing your whole body. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel the awareness of your spine. Letting it release any tension, lots of work in that whole low back area to do that it go. And as you breathe more deeply, let the body relax even deeper into that ghost support chest, focusing only on the relaxation. Allow the muscles to release and the body to soften. And your awareness of your body to release from your attention. Let it just relax into the earth support. And as your body relaxes and your mind releases those thoughts, other thoughts will come to you. Let them go as well. But just allow your mind to drift as your body relaxes. And focus only on the peace within. Letting the body and the mind just release. And if that's feeling a really good relaxation with it, just keep relaxing as long as you have time to do it. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the mind, to the room, to your body. And as you begin breathing more deeply, just move your body gently, however it feels good for you today. Stretch it, breathe in, let it go. Full body just release and tightness. And when you're ready for your final yoga for the appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, back just gently down. Draw your heels towards your hips and your knees toward your heart if you're on your back. If you're in child pose, let's go ahead and roll to the side and give yourself that time. Take a moment and breathe. Just Allowing your body to get that good appreciation, letting your body know you appreciate its work, holding that low back strength today, and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, your head and feet move to the floor, roll to the side, and we're caught up with our toe pose friends. Just go ahead and sit up, getting ready. For the rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.